All right, welcome to season two, episode seven. We have our last fall fall team here with us football. We have Ryan Sedgwick and Garston Banks. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. How you us. doing? What's up? If you guys just wanna walk us through some quick bio stuff, where you're from, um, how you got to Stevenson, why you love football, just give us the whole your, right your major and position. Yeah. Okay, if well, remember, if you can remember all that, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. You got it, AJ. <laughs> um, well, I'm Garson Banks. I play defensive back at Stevenson University. I'm also a psych major. Well, it's my senior year right now. Um, I'm from Baltimore, so yeah, I'm pretty local. And um, when I came on campus, I just loved the uh, university. I loved the program. I love things that uh, all the coaches was trying to instill into uh, the players and, and us. So I just bought in from day one. And um, I'm a psych major. I want to uh, open up my own practice in sports psychology. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much me. Okay. Ryan? That's dope. Uh, yeah, I'm Ryan Sedgwick. Um, I'm a junior quarterback, um, cybersecurity major. I actually transferred here from Frostburg my sophomore year last year and I love it probably the best decision I've made got to meet all the guys um I don't know exactly what I want to do when I graduate yet but we're kind of we're still looking yeah plenty yeah, of time to figure that out <laughs> don't yeah. stress about but I'm that. from yeah I'm from Crofton Maryland over in Anne Arundel County so I know plenty of kids that graduated and still don't know what they want to do so yeah I hear you okay. all right right off the bat what is your favorite Coach Hoddle story? Uh, Let's tell the people. Oh, on, QB, or off the, on or off the field. Yeah, on or off the field. QB1, you got, the, you got that one first. <laughs> you can take a second to think if you need. I need to think about it. Every day is something new, to be honest. Yeah, every day. <laughs> every we can day. honestly say the what's cool ring day, but that's every day. Yeah. Every day he says, I don't even know. We'll be doing something and be like, that's not cool. You know what's cool? And he'll just point his ring finger and just be like, okay. <laughs> every day. We're like, we just already know if he's going to say it. Um, uh, for me, I'm going to say uh, a lot of people might not know, but Coach Hollis, he's a, he's a great onside kicker. Like, he does that. Yeah, That's the, for the sure. Weekly he's game. Him. game. Yeah. yeah. And, and I would say mine is my sophomore year, I think, I was on Hans team. And, he kicked on side kick. He was the kicker. And I'm like, I got to catch it. He pointed at me. He said, yeah, I'm coming straight to you. And he kicked it right to me. I think I dropped it, too. So, I, I yeah, say he, he – yeah, he's, he's a pretty good onside kicker. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you that. When did you start playing football? What age? Um... And why? Um, I was nine. And I just played – like, I played, like, a year, I think, a flag. And I think I was, like, the smallest kid. So, um, you play QB back then or no? I played like whatever. I just played. Yeah. I think they just kind of put pe people where they thought they should be, and we kind of just ran around and had fun. And then I actually played tight end, and like Chris Cooley was my favorite player because I'm a big Redskins guy. So I wore number 47, and they switched me to quarterback. So, like, for three straight years, I just wore 47, just playing youth league quarterback. But <laughs> I just loved it from day one, man. I love the game day experience. Like, even youth league, thinking about it, like, it just gets me excited. Just so much fun, honestly, every moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for me, I'm kind of a late bloomer. Uh, I started when I was probably 11. I say my mom, she was scared of me playing football for a while. So when, now she loves it. But um, when I was a kid, I didn't really play, but I watched it all the time, and I really loved it, and I couldn't wait to play. Mm -hmm. And when I first played, the first position I played was corner. Uh, so and then tight end, like QB1. Yeah, uh, but I'm not no Redskins fan, so I can't. Uh, I can't even I can't call them that anymore. I can't relate to that one. But um, uh, Washington football team. Washington yeah. yeah, Washington football team. <laughs> yeah, but um, so I love the game as soon as I as soon as I put on a helmet. So I say I love it since the first day I I touched the football, real football. Real football. Where'd you Where'd you play youth league? Uh, uh, Rattlestown, Rattlestown Panthers. Oh, I got you. Were y'all any good? Yeah, my first actually interesting. My first year ever playing, we won zero games. We went, <laughs> we went zero That's and not fun. twelve, I believe. 
what is your guys' favorite one? You can choose only one thing. What is your guys' favorite thing about playing football? Mine, I can say, is the escape. Like, it's like you can escape from everything, mm -hmm. the outside world. It's like when you're on the turf or when you're playing, just like it's just – it's just football, and you, you don't got to worry about schoolwork. You don't got to worry about anything else. Right now, you're just worrying about having fun and enjoying the moment. So I just say it's yeah. like the freedom and escape of everything. Yeah, I, feel I like definitely I agree with that. Away. That's for most sports, too. But once you find the sport that you really love, I feel like it is that, like, safe haven for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say just there's just something special about the game, like, all the preparation every week, like the off season seems like it never ends, but like everything comes together in that game day moment. And like, it makes winning so special and losing hurt so bad. So like you put so much into it and that feeling just winning and like accomplishing everything that you like set out for is like probably the greatest. That's yeah. what I'd say. All right. We'll do some, uh, would you rather now? All right. Would you rather be chronically underdressed or chronically overdressed? Ooh. what's the situation like where are we at like everything i guess that would be the chronic right so, uh, i guess overdressed yeah i'll say overdressed. TJ. tj shows up to practice every day with the fit <laughs> <laughs> i swear every day he's got some nice <laughs> fit on like he's yeah, yeah me i would say overdressed job. definitely but qb1 got the fits too nah. he definitely got the fits <laughs> Would you rather give up air conditioning and heating for the rest of your life or give up internet for the rest of your life? Mm -hmm. I would have internet, to go internet. That, really? What would you yeah, be I would have to go internet. What would you do all day? Yeah, I don't do? know. Read a book, something. <laughs> He's sitting in his enjoy, heat and air conditioning. Enjoy the, yeah, I was going to say, enjoy the nice heat. I yeah, no, nah, I can't. I don't know what I can do without no air conditioning. Or something. No, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Probably that's a hard one. I don't know if I could do without the internet anymore. I yeah, because I don't know I what know I would do with half like half of my day. I don't realize that I'm either like on my phone or like on the computer. But yeah. like you realize all that time spent, and then you're kind of sitting there without like if you don't have your phone for a day or something. Like when you were young, mm -hmm. it was painful. Or like when you wake up Sunday morning and you get that notification of how many hours a day you sit on your phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I think I oh turned that off. Why are you uh, yeah, I got to turn that off. Would you rather have a mullet for a year or be bald for a year? Oh, yeah, I'm going bald. I can't do no mullet. <laughs> I, don't know. I can't Buy do no mullet. mullet. <laughs> Mullet's coming back. I know. Mullet, mullet's mullet been back. Uh, nah. Nah, yeah, me, I know. Actually, I can't, can't do no mullet. Me? <laughs> You were thinking about it. That's why you came up with that question, right? Yeah, right. No, I'm good on that. I do the man bun sometimes, but no more. I got you. I like it. Would you rather travel the world for free for a year or have $50,000 to spend however you want? Are you changing stuff? No, but that question makes no sense. No, so you would travel the world for free for a year. For, for a year, you can go wherever you want. Go wherever you want. Or have fifty thousand dollars and like travel travel the world expenses covered or fifty thousand dollars to spend however you'd like mm. how does it not make sense I guess. I just, I, i'd rather i'd rather travel the world for a year because you can literally yeah. everything's yeah. taken care of and i'm assuming i can take my people with me you know what i mean yeah so definitely have a lot of fun i with guess that. jay thinks it's stupid because it, there's an obvious answer <laughs> Yeah, I got to agree with QB1 on that one. I don't <laughs> think uh, experience beats money at any day. So Yeah, yeah. That was a good quote. Yeah. All right, next segment, we're going to do rapid fire questions. So we're going to ask one of you, like first Ryan will go and then second we'll do Garson. And as soon as we ask the question, you have whatever comes to your mind first, you have to oh, say geez. it. Okay. <laughs> what is the most impressive thing you can do? Oof. I don't know. Probably like football stuff. I probably just throw sixty yards or something. All right, biggest pet my head. Peeve. Biggest pet biggest peeve. pet peeve is when people get in their cars in the parking lot when all the spots are filled up. They get in their car and you know they're about to leave, but they don't, and you're just sitting there waiting for them. Because that's happened to me at least three times the past year. All right, that was a good one. 
Um, what TV sitcom family would you be a member of? Uh, you like Brooklyn Nine Nine? You ever seen that show? The, are they? That's the cop one. I've never seen it. But yeah. It has the. I think it's funny. All right. First thing you would do with a million dollars? I'd probably pay off all the loans, all the bills. <laughs> That'd be the first thing. Smart finance. And then a car. Very smart finance. <laughs> smart finance, bro, right there. Did you delete another one, Jay? I didn't understand this. Yet. What's here? What, what was it? All right, what would you do if you had 15 minutes of fame? 15 minutes of fame, like television? I guess. Ask Macy. Yeah, any type of fame. Like, you went <laughs> viral or, like, <laughs> released some cool song or something. I don't know. I'd probably just try and promote myself to make sure that I'm still famous. You gotta, you gotta figure out how the fifteen, how I, you I, the yeah. minutes last. I know. That's a tough one. I have no idea. I'd probably <laughs> just try and find stuff that I'm good at that I think people would like. Find some content. <laughs> hire a content creator and just start getting <laughs> after it. All right, Garson, are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Okay. If you're stranded on a deserted island, what two items would be with you? Um, a life jacket, and <laughs> I'm gonna try to get my phone if I can. Yeah. What was your favorite movie as a child? Favorite movie Friday. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, yeah. what word would you add to the dictionary if you could? Uh, dazed. dazed? That's probably already in there. <laughs> That's yeah. probably in there. Um. <laughs> Say it three times a day. <laughs> he's dazed by these questions. We still, it's still a good answer. How old were you when you had the worst, your worst haircut ever, and what was the style? I had a one to the grain. Like, it was almost bald. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was probably, I don't know, I was probably like eight. Yeah, my barber went against the grain instead of with the grain. It, it, was, it was terrible. <laughs> Okay, last one. If you won an, a yacht at an auction, what would what would the name on the back of the yacht be that you would uh, name? Long live the goat. Long live the goat. Nice. <laughs> would you spell Is that? Is that a LeBron reference or a reference to yourself? No, nah, that's a reference from my uh, my homeboy that passed away. Okay. You guys watched the finals? Were you rooting for the Lakers or the Heat? Man, I... I I'm a LeBron fan, kind of, but I, yeah. I already knew they was going to win. I was I know they, watching the Heat win two of them, at least. At least it wasn't a sweep. Yeah, yeah when they won that second game. Kind of rooting for Jay Buckets, but we don't know. LeBron, you can't hate on it. Yeah, you can. You can't hate on Jimmy either, though. He, he did nah. good. Yeah, Jimmy's nice. Thanks. All right, we got some Stevenson football trivia now. Let's see how y'all do. All right, first one. Um, do you know Coach Hoddle's favorite movie? I'm going to guess, like, Rudy or something like that. They have, like, a football, like uh, – what do you yeah. think, TJ? Uh, uh, is it something along those lines? Is it a football movie? It, it's three words. Three words. I was going to say, like, the classic dad, like, Top Gun or something like that. I don't know. Um, the, last said, word, the last word's a name. And the name is someone sitting in this meeting. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is it Emma Banks? No. Saving Private the... Ryan? Yeah. Yep. Ah, QE1. He got it. <laughs> I he knew was... it was like an older type. Who is top two in Stevenson football history in most career touchdown passes? An extra point if you know the number. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm like I'm in a, a like in a season or a career. Career. Yeah. Who's top two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan. Dan Williams. Mm -hmm. Dan would probably one. Thirteen. Number thirteen. No, I think you're saying like number of touchdowns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. number of touchdowns. Oh. <laughs> we'll take that number too if you want. <laughs> um. So how many how many years you play like? Two and a half or three and a half? Uh, because he got hurt maybe in like the 70s or the 80s. I don't know. Who's the second quarterback? Do you know that? Yeah. I don't know that one. 
I only played one season, so I don't know. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's you. I was gonna oh, say it is? Oh, it's sweet. My <laughs> guy, yes, sir. <laughs> he, <laughs> knew, he knew. He was just trying to be humble. Actually, no, I did not yeah, know. Yeah, he was trying to be, <laughs> stop, trying to be stop, humble. Stop. Dan has, Dan has 61. You I finally played one. Oh, gotcha. All right, in 2019, so this last year that both of you were there, who led the Stevenson defense in tackles for loss? For loss. I think – didn't Shop have most tackles? Uh, I'm not sure. I think uh, Shop – I'm going to go with – I'm going to go with Don. It's Yeah, I was either like Don, Neef, or Pitts, but maybe Don. You, maybe Mario. Yeah, it was Mario. Mario, yeah, Mario. Yeah. I knew it was one of them, too. He had ten and a half. That was like I was looking at the record books. That was like fourth in school history for like tackles for loss in a year. That's so. major. He a different animal. Oh, yeah, definitely a beast. Okay, we always end on um, like, do you guys have any motivational quotes or fun facts or whatever? Or shout outs. Or shout outs. Anything. I'm gonna say because they always remind me every time I do anything. But shout out to the O line. Those are my guys. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> um, me, uh, I just want to say shout out to the team, and I can't wait to win a match. Let's get it. Yes, yeah. sir. Bring me up. <laughs>